Hi bar shop. This is place the buffet and that's the recording of this video. It's April 1st, 2023. I already did the April Fool's prank for that day on the actual day. So this video is completely legit. Anyway, so the terrible happened a few days ago when I was trying to delete the folder for our part of part two, so that video is already up. I accidentally deleted the in production folder as a whole. And because of that, many files were lost. Thankfully, I got most of this backed up on Google Drive, and those which I didn't are thankfully easily remakeable. Unfortunately, one of those files are the files for a mission review I was doing in Grand Theft Auto and I didn't back that file up at all. So, the next part of this is Grand Theft Auto Adventures, you're gonna have to deal with a video ending in the middle of a mission review. And as of when I recorded this, there are already San Andreas videos that are private but not public yet. I do mean the video which is both not at the end, the one I'm working on right now. But I will save that for another video. Yeah, you guys get my point. There are also two movie reviews which I didn't upload or edited on my Google Drive yet. And these are my reviews of Kung Fu Panda 2 and One Life. That's not a problem. I went to a movie theater today to see Kung Fu Panda 4. And the next Wednesday, I'm rewatching One Life to do a review of that. But that's the plus that I can at least make better reviews than what I was originally going to make. So, with that all being said, and that all out of the way, it's finally fucking time to review the movie Kung Fu Panda 4. Let's go. Now, I'll be honest, I'm not a big fan of the Kung Fu Panda movies. I was going to make a video talking about that in 2022, but I never got around to it. But needless to say, I find them extremely fucking overrated. I mean, they are good movies, with an exception of the movie that we're going to talk about in this video. But there isn't anything special about them, in my opinion. Animals that know Kung Fu is cool and dull, but it's nothing spectacular in my opinion. With that being said, I still think Kung Fu 1 till 3 are good moves, just very overrated. So yeah, so far the only bad one is Kung Fu Panda 4, and I'm gonna talk about it. But before I talk about the actual movie, I am gonna make a fucking rant here. The issue that seriously needs to be addressed. Incoherent moves with mercy plots have been extremely common in the past few years. Now don't get me wrong, mercy movies that are only made for the body has been a thing since the silent era. I don't think anyone can dispute that. Even back then, a lot of movies were mainly made for the money. However, I learned this the hard way. This problem has gotten far worse in recent years than in any other point in movie history. And honestly, people involved with these movies, these people owe us the audience better. They're supposed to distract us from the city world we will have to deal with. It's supposed to be escapism so we can transfer to another universe. It's different from ours, and which is a fun universe, so you don't have to worry too much about your city life by the end of the day. But when was the last time a movie really felt that way? I'm sure there are some exceptions, such as Top Gun Maverick and Puss in Boots Last Wish. But majority of movies lately have been an incoherent mess, and honestly I'm fucking sick of it. Whether the people involved in movies like it or not, they owe us the audience a lot better. Most of us watch movies for good story, which I'm a very subjective. We don't watch movies to see an incoherent mess. It should be very easy for movie studios to make so that most audiences would enjoy, but apparently it's not, and it's beyond sad to me. I know making movies is a lot of hard work, and I don't mean to be the dick towards people who are working hard or making movies, but my point stands. Alright, rant over, let's talk about Kung Fu Panda 4. Now I'm gonna start where I always start, by talking about the characters. First I'm gonna talk about Poe, played by Jack Black. I have a very important question to ask. What the hell happened to this guy? I mean, legit, what the hell happened to him? It's been a long time since I've seen the other Kung Fu Panda movies, but I'm gonna tell you this right now. From what I remember, in these movies he was a bit goofy, but he was still very competent and had the potential of being a great leader. But in this movie, on the other hand, he's a fucking idiot. He doesn't run the King of Doom is supposed to protect well at all, and is also extremely greedy. He cares more about his own ego than actually doing heroic things. The only reason he succeeded in anything in this movie is because of pure fucking luck. 
Personally, I thought that he needed to be removed from power immediately. So the fucking idiot doesn't deserve to be in any form of leadership. It's beyond sad to me how much they butchered him. Oh, and they also made him into a big goofball. It is unfortunately a problem that applies to a lot of fucking characters in this movie. Such as his adoptive father, which is a goose called Mr. Ping, played by James Hong. Now, he was never really much of a fighter in the other movies. He was just sticking to his store. Making no tools. And if this movie proves anything, he probably should have stuck to that. They made him into a big fucking goofball. And he had it worse out of the three that I'm mentioning here. What the hell happened? Why did they make him into a comic relief? Look, he isn't even goofing in the other movies. He doesn't know much about Kung Fu, but he is a very nice guy and good at making no tools. So why making a comic relief? What's the point? And what makes it even worse is that all three characters which I brought up and the one I'm saying I'm gonna bring up are all fucking comic reliefs. Oh, I'm so getting into the bad comedy later on in this review. Now his biological father is Lee Sien, played by Brian Cranston. You know, I'll be frank, I was never a fan of giving Poe a biological father in the first place. What was very fucking funny about the first Kung Fu Panda movie is that Poe, a panda, was raised by a goose. That concept is very weird and unusual and that's exactly what makes it so fucking awesome. But in Kung Fu Panda 3, that joke was completely killed and isn't funny anymore because, as it turns out, he isn't actually his father, but instead there is another panda who is his biological father. I thought that the reveal was just stupid. It ruined one of the best jokes in the first Kung Fu Panda movie. That being said, what the hell? Is this guy even doing in this movie? No, I mean legit, what the hell is he doing here? He barely does anything to add to the story, which to be fair, the ghost Mr. Ping doesn't either. He was just there as an excuse for a fucking side plot. Neither Mr. Ping or Lee Xian did anything to help, which is my biggest problem. Another huge problem that I have with this movie is the comedy. I mean, seriously, why is it so hard for filmmakers nowadays to make movies with the throwing in too many fucking jokes. Now, the Kung Fu Panda movies have always been silly, that goes without saying. But at least in the previous movies, the comedy didn't ruin a potentially serious moment. In this movie, on the other hand, every serious fucking moment in this movie has been ruined by a bad joke. Are you fucking kidding me? I will admit that I did laugh a few times, but whether these jokes are funny or not, it's not the issue. The issue is, there are too fucking many of them. Good God. If you have to throw jokes at every second, that just shows that you have very fucking poor writing. Now it's time for my overall thoughts. Please, filmmakers in Hollywood, I'm begging you. Stop with this yet. Stop with the incoherent stories and stop throwing jokes at every corner. I'm sure I speak for a lot of people in the audience when I say we are fucking sick of this yet. Please, guys, I'm begging you, give us something better, you owe it to us. Seriously, guys, this is why so many movies are bombing lately, because we are sick of this shit. Well, guys, we're the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.